Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be going over features. And features allow us to add custom world gen into the game, such as grass, bushes, or trees. So in our world.surface package, let's create another new package called world.feature. And inside the feature package, we're going to create a new class called example feature. And this is going to extend feature of no feature config. Then let's hover over this and add our constructor, and we can remove the to-do. And then let's add our unimplemented generate method. And in mod maps, this won't have a name, and this will be called apply instead of generate. And now in here, all we need to do is actually generate our feature. And this will be called every time our feature spawns in the world. So we want to make sure to do as little as possible to minimize lag. So next, what we're going to do is basically make like a custom bush. And to do that, we need to make sure to always generate it on the bottom of the world. So in order to do that, we need to loop from the position from which we start and keep going down until we hit a block. So we're going to add a while loop and we're going to check while pause dot get y is greater than one. So we're going to check that it is still inside the world and is air or leaves. And here we're going to check that it isn't air or leaves because we don't want to be able to place our block on leaves. And for that, we're going to need to pass in the reader and the position. And while it's doing that, we're going to set pause to pause dot down. And on mod maps, this will be below. So now let's create our public boolean is air or leaves. And this is going to take an iWorld generation base reader. We're going to call this reader and a block pause pause. And we're going to check if the reader isn't an instance of iWorld reader. And we're going to return reader dot has block state or is state at position. And we're going to pass in the pause and a predicate. And we're going to take the state. And for a predicate, we're going to check if the state is air or state dot is in block tags dot leaves. And on mod maps, this will be just dot is. And then we can hover over this and add a warning suppress deprecation to get rid of this error. However, if it is an instance of iWorld reader, instead we can return reader dot has block state or is state at position in mod maps. And then we're going to go to state to state dot can be replaced by leaves. Then we pass in the reader and the position. And we need to cast this to an instance of iWorld reader. So now the pause is going to be the block at the bottom. So now let's just set pause to pause dot up to make sure that we're on the block above the bottom block of the world. And now all we need to do, now that we have our position, is to place our feature. However, first let's create a block state for the block that we're going to place. So let's do a private static final block state. And I'm just going to call this example block, since this is just going to be equal to block init dot example block dot get. So we get the block and then dot get default state. So here's our example block state. And now under here we can do set block state or set block on mod maps, where we're going to put in the reader, the position and an example block. However, I'm going to make a bit of a loop. So I'm going to do four int i is equal to zero, i is less than four, i plus plus. We're going to loop this and we're going to do this four times, but each time we're going to do pause dot up i. So this is going to create a four tool pillar of example blocks. So the first time it's going to loop through, it's going to add zero, then it's going to add one to the y, and this is going to go up to three. So eventually we'll have a four tool pillar of example blocks. And next what I'm going to do is create a, another block state down here. And this is just going to be called stone. And I'm going to set this to blocks.stone.getDefault state. So you can see that when we use a Minecraft one, we don't need to add the dot get. And then I'm going to set block state of pause dot down one. So under the pillar, and we're just going to set this to stone. And that's it for my example feature class. Obviously, you can do a lot more with this, and I'll be showing you how to create a tree with this class in the next episode. So then let's go to our already existing feature init class from when we did the ors very early on. And in here, we're going to add a deferred register. So we're going to create a public static final deferred register of feature of any config, and this is going to be called features. 
and it's going to be equal to deferred register dot create. Then we pass in forge registries dot features and then our tutorial mod dot mod ID. And then to add a feature, we're going to create a public static final registry object of example feature. And I'm going to call this example feature. And we're going to set this equal to features dot register. Then we pass in the name, so example feature. And then we need a supplier of our new example feature. But then you can see that we need to pass in a codec. So we can do no feature config dot field 236558A and on mod maps that would be codec. And now we need to register our feature in it in our main class. So let's go over there and above our surface builders, we're going to do feature in it dot features dot register of bus. And that is it for our Java. Now we need to do some JSONs. So we need to tell our biome class how this feature is going to be placed. We've already set at the height at which it's gonna place, but we don't know the frequency or how it's going to generate. So to do that, we need a configured feature. So in our data world gen class, let's create another new package called dot configured feature. And in there, we're going to create a new file called example feature dot JSON. However, to fill this out, we're once again going to use misodes data generator on misode.github.io. So if you go to misode.github.io and click on well gen and feature, you can see that it's gonna give us a JSON. However, we don't need most of this. We're going to leave this as decorated and leave this as count, but we're going to change the feature to decorated as well. Then we need to select a decorator. And once again, we're going to be selecting decorated. Then for our outer, we're going to select square and inner, we're going to select height map spread double. And you can do what you want here, but I'm just going to use this since this has worked for me. And then for our feature, I'm going to select no OP and we're going to be replacing that with our tutorial mod. The count is basically how much you want per chunk. I'm just going to set this to something like four. And then I'm going to copy the JSON generated and paste it into the world. Over here, you can select the ways in which it generates, so a chance generator. I'm just gonna leave this as square as height map, and you can also change the way in which it generates up here. I'm gonna paste this in and change this to tutorial mod, colon example feature. Now let's add it to our bio. In our example bio, we can scroll down to the different generation stages, which I explained before, and we're just going to put this at the top since this generates on the surface. So down here, let's add tutorial mod colon example feature. Now we can run the game, but not before a short message from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by MTX Serve. MTX Serve provides premium game servers for titles such as Minecraft, Rust, and Valheim. Click the link in the description and use code CY4 to get 5% off your server today. And I actually made a change so that the block underneath the pillar is going to be a shroom light since the stone is already visible. And you can see that with all the example block pillars, we have a shroom light underneath. So that means that our feature is generating. This is a, a very interesting biome. And that is going to do it for this video. If you need a Minecraft server, check out mtxserve.com. If you need any help, join the Discord and we also have an epic community Minecraft server that you can play on. In the next episode, I'm probably going to be covering trees and I'll see you next time.